Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So I talked to a lot of um, companies and business owners, of course, about automation, and they are looking to um, start building automations and systems to um, scale their, their businesses. And one of the most common objections that I get is that I fear losing control of my business. I don't want to give up control of everything that I have run here on my operations. It's very common, this kind of um, objection or this kind of thinking. And I always tell them that they need to follow four steps to avoid feeling that way, right? Because it's really important that once you start building automations that you feel comfortable with everything that's running for your business so you can use your time with the things that matter, right? So with the things that are gonna help you grow and scale your company even further. So the first thing that I share with them is that before you start building automations, you should know your process offline, right? So before um, move it online, you should know everything that needs to happen offline. And that's key. That's really important because if you don't know what should happen on one process, you're going to first build an automation that's not going to um, be very helpful and you can break a process that's already broken. So, so you should know every step that needs to happen on every process that's running on your company before you start building your automations. That way, you, you will know every, everything, you know all the actions that are happening on that automation, on that system. Again, so you won't, you are not giving up control. You have control over the automation. You have control over all the steps and, and actions that the automation is doing for your business. So that's the first and probably one of the most important steps that you need to follow. The second step is if you work at a company or if your business has other team members there, it's really important to get everyone involved on the automation, on the system. So they should know um, how to trigger the automations and also they should know the outcome of the automations. So they should really be involved on that process so you can better optimize all the operations so you can have a more efficient um, process. It, like, it doesn't make sense for you to build an automation that your team members don't know how to use it because you won't be using the systems at the optimal level, right? So you don't, you won't be using the system at their full capacity. So that's why it's really important that everyone should be aligned on the systems and the automations and mainly the outcomes of all of them. The third step is it's important for you to test it before you launch it. So after you have the automation ready, you should test it a lot. Test it with fake data, test it with live data before you actually start running it um, on their own, right? So it's really important that you test the trigger, you test all the different actions on that process, on that automation, so you can feel comfortable with how it's working, right? Again, you are not giving up control, you are under, the automation is under control. So that's how we should work. You should know everything that's happening there. You should know all the outcomes of the system so you can focus your attention, your energy, your time on other tasks and processes for your company. And also the fourth step would be to check your automations on a regular basis, right? Just as an example, um, here at X Automation, I check and my team checks all the systems that we have running for every client that we work with every single day. So first thing in the morning, we check all the systems. We check not only if they are working, but also if the outcomes are being generated as expected. Because sometimes processes change, um, we need to adjust something, we need to optimize other things. So that's why it's important to keep checking them on a regular basis. That way, again, you will know what's happening on your company. You will know everything that's running for your tasks and processes. 
again, so you are not giving up control. You have all your systems under control, so you can be at ease with all the tech and all the system that's running for you. And also the other thing that um, I suggest, and of course that's something that I do, is to outsource all of those steps, all that process to a chief automation officer. And that's why I really like this positioning. I really like this chief automation officer role because it makes so much sense, not only to help you identify automation opportunities within all your processes, but also to build the automations to, to make sure that they are running and to make sure that everything is ready smoothly so you can focus your time and energy on other things for your business, on the things that are more strategic, on the things that are gonna help you grow your company. So that's the goal of automation. The automation shouldn't worry you more, it should have the opposite effect. Right, so that's the goal of automation. So you should all, we shouldn't worry about giving up control um, when you start automating your business because if you follow those steps, you make sure that you have the systems under control and you can use your time, use your energy on other tasks or even to do other things uh, on your life that you enjoy. So that's the end goal of automations. Hope this is helpful. Um, and again, as always, if you need help, building your systems, building your automations, click on the link down below so we can get on a call and I can show you how automations can help your company. Thank you.